Hello YouTube, Uncertainty42 here with another FL Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Citrus plugin, specifically how to make it wobble. In the last video you saw how to do this in Harmless, which was fairly straightforward. Uh, there's a few added steps that you're going to have to do with Citrus, at least in the way that I'm familiar with. Um, the trick with Citrus is you can have tones potentially with a lot of different operators. So a lot of them have envelopes and things like that. You can see on the first one here, is, there's a uh, in the main, wherever, doesn't matter. We're not going to use any of this. So let's uh, find a nice bass tone. Uh, let's go with Satan FM, which is a... I actually find it fairly effective for fleshing out melody lines, but it works equally well. Uh, as a bass tone, pull the modulation a little more towards center. There we go. All right. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we'll move this out of the way. We need to assign this to a free mixer channel. So we're going to assign this to mixer channel five. And what do we want to do? And for those of you that are new to FL Studio, what I did here is I just opened up the mixer. And you can see here, we've assigned it to Mixer Channel 5. Good practice is to uh, name your Mixer channels, just so you know what you're looking at. But you don't have to. Um, in the last video, we discussed that the wobble bass sound itself is, is created by making a low-frequency filter and then adjusting its cutoff frequency. So rapidly moving that cutoff frequency up and down, which is what makes it kind of wobble. So an easy way to do this with the Citrus plugin, rather than trying to fiddle it around with the millions of different mystery knobs inside the, the, uh, the plugin itself, you can drag in an external filter here in the, uh, in the effects uh, options. And uh, if you weren't following, I use a fruity free filter. And you can set the different types of uh, filters here. Of course, what we want is low pass. And what we're going to want to adjust is this frequency knob. So before we can do that, we're going to have to flesh out some manner of uh, sequence, I guess. I am awfully partial to uh, the key of C minor, so you might see me go in there an awful lot. So I used to play a lot of heavy metal in drop C, so it just makes sense. Let's see what this sounds like. And then maybe we'll go up here. Good enough. greatest thing in the world, but that's not why you're here. You're here to learn how to wobble. Alright, so let's go ahead. We'll open the piano roll. We'll open up our effect. What we're going to want to do is we're going to right click on frequency and we're going to say edit events in piano roll. Now you'll find from this point forward it all becomes very similar to what we did in the uh, last tutorial for Harmless. Uh, so, once again, uh, I prefer the right click to the left click. Left click gives you this square, where uh, right click gives you this nice, clean looking thing here. So, we'll do something like this. Just manually put it in, like so. And you can get really creative with this, but for time's sake, we're just going to keep it nice and simple. And we'll go here, and I'm going to the drop down, you see tools. Here at the bottom we have LFO. Unlike the last tutorial, I'm going to use this end parameter here, or setting, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And what this allows you to do is kind of have a different frequency cutoff at the beginning of the line the end, you can see that the filter just gradually moves up, so it's going to give you kind of a unique tone. Uh, let's increase the value a little bit. The range down, 
and it's going to be a lot more pronounced that way. Maybe even a little further. There we are. All right, and we'll do something different here. Maybe we'll right click, and then for this. As you may uh, have concluded already, you can go pretty stark wild with this if you so desire. And let's just make sure we're in. I'm pretty sure we're in one step. Yes. Okay. Good. And then maybe we'll just have a really long one here. Good enough. All right. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's go ahead and throw down a drum beat, just just because we can. So the quality of the track may be called into question, but the principle of the thing is there. Um, once again, what we're doing is we're dragging in the Citrus plugin. Choose a, a bass sound that you like. Uh, I like both the Satan FMs, they're kind of grungy sounding, and uh, the Cerebus Saw is also kind of grungy sounding. Um, good for this type of thing. Just for fun, why don't we change it over to the Cerebus Saw and see what it sounds like. And it still sounds lousy, but that's fine, as long as you got the idea. So, we're opening up the mixer, we're assigning a Fruity Free filter, we're right-clicking, uh, and we're editing the events in the panel roll. As before, if you so desired, you could do this with an automation clip. Uh, it's just a little bit more work if you just want to hash out like a one-step, two-step type of thing. Much easier to do it in the piano roll itself as opposed to doing it this way. Well, just for the sake of it, why don't we let this... Uh, we'll give it a try, see what it sounds like. And right click a piano roll, let's minimize this. Let's undo all the damage we did before. And we'll just zero the whole thing out. There we are. And let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> So, different tools for different types of sounds. If you really want it just like a true wobble bass, it's better to do it inside the piano roll, but if you're looking for a more groove-oriented uh, sound, uh, shaping it inside an automation track is a pretty good way to go. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, I'm thinking probably in my next tutorial I'll, I'll either do some uh, finer points of adding percussion to tracks or a vocoder or something like that. Uh, if this video helped you out, if you liked it, uh, give me a like, give me a comment, check out some of the other videos on my channel, uh, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.